uh, like Harvey. We were uh, a little indifferent, uncertain whether or not this was going to slow down, but the National Hurricane Center, as of the latest advisory, is starting to move this system uh, by the middle of the week, should just be to our north and east. So the good news with this system is because it is not expected to stall, we're not looking at the 40, 50 inches of rain, but there are going to be some isolated pockets of 20 inches, potentially along our coastal communities. So you can, you know that those type of rainfall totals could bring some significant, significant damage along the coastline. And of course, uh, we always say you want to uh, run from the water, hide from the wind, and that is definitely going to be a mantra we have to uh, consider, especially with this particular storm. 60 mile per hour winds right now. It's movement toward the north northwest at about 14 miles per hour. You can see the amount of moisture that the system has to work with. They're still anticipating a little bit more strengthening potentially to a stronger tropical storm. 70 mile per hour winds is what the National Hurricane Center is forecasting. As far as landfall, we're anticipating this evening some somewhere around Matagorda Bay. And you can see we are on the right side of this storm. So we are on the dirty side. We are going to need to focus on heavy rain, the potential for some strong wind, and of course the storm surge. We've got several watches and warnings to go through with you. So joining me is meteorologist Kevin Roth to walk us through all these different watches and warnings. Kevin. Yeah, Alita, no doubt about it. The primary concern for most of us is the rain, but that's not the only concern. We're also going to see some healthy winds with this system. And because of that, we do have a hurricane watch in effect for parts of the area. That includes coastal Brazoria, Matagorda, and Jackson counties, where we could see wind gusts here of 74 miles per hour or stronger in those areas. Most of us along I-10 and south, we are either in a tropical storm watch or warning. You're talking wind gusts of well over 30 miles per hour up to 73 miles per hour. And I think that's what the vast majority of us will see. The difference between the watches and the warnings at this point, not so important. That's just a timing issue. But I want to show you the probability of seeing some of those tropical storm force winds in Houston, a 50% chance of seeing tropical storm force winds, Pasadena 50%, Tomball 50%. As you start to go farther southwest, those probabilities increase 60% Katy, Sugarland and Angleton, 70% Wharton, 75% Bay City. The direction of those winds also important going around that center of circulation. And that means we are bringing in that water, pushing it into our bays and outlets. Uh, so you look at an area like Galveston, Galveston Bay could see two to four feet of storm surge with this system. All right, let's talk about the rain. Thank you for that. I mean, some great points there. We're talking uh, multiple impacts. This morning, we are just getting a taste of some of the rain. The weather conditions are expected to deteriorate, so be careful this afternoon and evening. Some of you during the early part of the afternoon, especially north of I-10, you'll be okay. South of I-10, it is going to be a very messy evening commute. You're going to want to hunker down during the late night hours, overnight, even into Tuesday morning as those heavy rains continue to spread further inland. Now, our latest computer models are showing a lot of drying that could be happening late in the afternoon into Tuesday, so we'll see whether or not that trend continues. But the highest threat for flooding along the I-10 corridor, especially down to the south, where flash flooding is going to be likely. We've gone over some of the timeline for you, but this afternoon, widespread rains beginning. Heavy rain, wind, surge expected to peak this evening into Tuesday. The good news, those storms expected to die down as we get into the middle of the week. And so by the weekend, we finally